patrolling in the night, protecting from degradation, preserving nature's treasure, managing the resources, monitoring the regeneration, and developing the forests. Treading into the wilderness and walking right into the face of possible threats and occasional violent encounters, the duties of forest personnel are vast and varied. Their work requires immense physical and mental gumption. The forest range officers and beat guards delve into the difficult terrains and harsh weathers. They work in the spooky silence of the night and plough through the darkness of dense jungles. And like other uniformed men, these forest sentinels also require rigorous training to honour and fulfil their call. The Gujarat Forest Department, through GFRF, carries out various trainings at four centres. This training setup includes Gujarat Forest Rangers College, Rajpipla, where the range forest officers in service are trained. The Foresters Training College, Kakrapar and Dungarla, imparts induction training for the foresters and beat guards. Whereas Gandhinagar-based Gujarat Forest Research and Training Institute provides in-service training for all cadres and conducts required seminars. And the Gujarat Forestry Research Foundation Gandhinagar carries out other miscellaneous trainings, seminars and conferences for better field performance and knowledge upgradation. Gujarat Forest Research and Training Institute has been established in 1979 with an objective of training range forest officers from different states of the country. This college is in a campus known as Vadia Palace, presently in Rajpipla, Taluka Nandod, District Narmada, Gujarat. The first batch of range forest officer trainees underwent the basic training during 1979-1981 with the strength of 31 trainees. The college has trained officer trainees from a total of 12 states and one union territory. Gujarat Forest Rangers College, GFRC, Rajpipla, Gujarat is one of the few training institute in India where forest rangers are provided training. Gujarat Forest Rangers College, Rajpipla works under GFRI, Gujarat Forestry Research and Training Institute, having its headquarters at Gandhinagar. Later, two other forest training colleges were established in the state, at Ungarla in the Dang district and at Kakrapar in Vyara district. The main objectives of these colleges are to emerge as a center of excellence in capacity building and human resource development for forest officers impart knowledge and skills to the forest range officers, help them to develop competence for managing the state's forest and wildlife resources on a sustainable basis, and impart systematic need-based training and learning. During the 18-month college training, the officials here study various subjects such as forest management, forest laws joint forest management, documentation, rescue and rehabilitation of wild animal, forest and wildlife crime cases, ecotourism, dealing with civil suits and information technology. The college also conducts short and long-term courses and frontline staff training. Gujarat Forest Research and Training Institute has also conducted periodical trainings for surveyors, clerks and accountants of the department. The college also has different facilities in the form of classrooms, conference room, library, computer lab, sports ground, hostel and guest house. Training in the field of weapons and first aid have also been imparted. Faculties for training have been selected from among serving and retired senior forest officers. The foundation also collaborates with national and international institutes to develop new strategies and modules for capacity building initiatives 
that focus on forestry and wildlife. These courses usually are designed as refresher courses of foresters and travelling workshops. Recently, Gujarat Forest Research Foundation hosted All India Forest Range Officers Seminar on Forest Protection and Wildlife Management at Kevadia, where rangers from various states participated. During the conference, they were taken to Statue of Unity for an exposure come recreational trip where they enjoyed the world-class amenities created there. We talked to some of the participants after the seminars. हम यहाँ से हमारे जो स्टेट है उसमें ये चीज़ें लेके जाने वाले हैं कि फॉरेस्ट के मैनेजमेंट को किस तरीके से हमको करना है फॉरेस्ट मैनेजमेंट के साथ साथ वाइल्ड लाइफ मैनेजमेंट को किस तरीके से करना है हमारी क्या प्लानिंग होना चाहिए क्या हमारी मेथड्स होने चाहिए क्या स्ट्रेटेजी होना चाहिए बहुत सारी चीज़ें हैं जो हम हमारे स्टेट में भी इम्प्लीमेंट कर सकते हैं जो ऐसे इन्फॉर्मेशनल हो और जो बच्चों के लिए भी इन्फॉर्मेशनल हो और बड़ों के लिए भी इन्फॉर्मेशनल हो और कहीं ना कहीं यहाँ पे जो इको टूरिज्म का काम कर रहे हैं और बहुत ही सफलता दी है यहाँ पे तो हम अपने राज्य में जाके उसका पालन करेंगे During the on-field training, the students are taken to the existing social forestry plots for hands-on experience and practical understanding of the social forestry and its management. Nursery visits during the field trips are scheduled for better understanding of regenerating the forests and reviving the degraded areas. A deeper understanding of maintaining the ecological balance of local flora and fauna. The exhaustive and demanding field trips include all the aspects of the actual working conditions. Officials are taken during such trips for night patrolling and are led by experienced forest officers, understanding the working conditions and the altering dynamics of the jungle in eerie silence of the night. These skills help them while patrolling, monitoring the forests, surveying and recording the findings along with keeping the strategies in place it also helps them in the long run while managing the forests and wildlife a special arms and ammunition training is given in collaboration with the state reserved police force Officers undergo focus training on using different types of guns, grenades and other arms at the regional center located at Choki Sorat. This rigorous week-long training of forest rangers and beat guards provides them with the know-how of handling sophisticated arms and ammunition. The daily rigorous parades, physical activities, recreational sports and arms training are provided by the experienced police officials. Every activity undertaken during the training takes these forest officers towards being more able and skilled in carrying out their duties. The exhaustive training sessions, early morning parades, physical training and the discipline of a soldier makes them mentally fit to meet the challenges of their demanding duties. Apart from using the arms, they are also provided classroom education and are trained to plan and create strategies. A well-trained officer 
is an asset for an organization. Forest Rangers Beat Guards Every link of the hierarchy is important for carrying out the mammoth task of forest protection and preservation. The Foundation works towards creating a force which with passion and dedication protects the wildlife, the forest resources and monitor movements. These sentinels of the forest force are trained and equipped to maintain the balance as well as enable the society to make sustainable choices in the days to come. If you want to accept, train, retrain, train, touching lives through research innovation.